Hello everyone, let's start with the next topic which is electrical load management and maximum demand control. A HT category often has a two parts tariff structure that is one part for the demand and the second part for the actual energy drawn during the billing cycle. Now the demand is in KVA or KW terms and the reactive energy drawn by the service is also recorded and billed for some utilities because this would affect the load on the utility. So accordingly utility charges for the maximum demand in its billing structure. So let us see what is a maximum demand. A maximum demand is highest level of electricity electrical demand monitored in a particular period usually for a period of month. So the maximum demand has been recorded and that accordingly it is the highest level of the demand during a particular period. Now need of electrical load management. Let us see what is the need of electrical load management. Better load management at the user end helps to minimize peak demand or you can say maximum demand on the utility infrastructure as well as better utilization on the power plant capacities. Next is the load management is a powerful means of efficiency improvement both at the end users as well as the utility and as the demand charges constitute a considerable portion as we have already discussed of the electricity bill from the user angle too there is a need for integrated load management to effectively control the maximum demand. That is why it is a need for the electrical load management. Now let us see how the maximum demand can be controlled. So these are the step by step approach for the maximum demand control. First is load curve generation. Next is rescheduling of loads. Next is storage of products in process material, process utilities like the refrigeration. Next is shading of non-essential loads. Next is operation of captive generation and diesel generation set. And the last is reactive power compensation. So now let's see one by one. First is load curve generation. So first is load generation curve or you can say load curve generation. So load curve is a graphical representation of consumers load demand against the time in hours. So as you can see here in the diagram it shows the load curve generation. It shows the variation of load on the power station as you can see the variation of loads on the power station and when the load curve is plotted for 24 hours a day then it is called as a daily load curve. Similarly we have monthly yearly load curve. So this type of curves are useful in predicting the patterns of peak and valley and energy use trends in the industries or in distribution network. So all the information is gathered from the load curve generation. Next is rescheduling of loads. Rescheduling of larger electrical loads and equipment operation in different shifts can, planned, can be planned and implemented to minimize the simultaneous maximum demand. For this we need to prepare an operational flow chart and a process chart so that it can be analyzed and after analyzing it would be possible to reschedule the operation and the running running equipment in such a way that the it improves the load factor which in turns will reduce the maximum demand. Next point is storage. So now it is possible to reduce the maximum demand using the electricity during the off-peak periods for the storage 
of product or you can say material water chilled water hot water as off peak hour operation also helps to save energy due to the favorable conditions next is shading of non essential loads when maximum demand tend to reach a preset limit removal of some non essential loads temporary can help to reduce the maximum demand on the system it is possible to install a direct demand ma monitoring system which will switch off the non essential loads when a preset demand is reached and simply and simple system gives an alarm and the loads are shaded manually or else a maximum demand controller can be installed which will remove the load in a particular sequence and then will switch on the loads once the system is within the limits next is operation of captive generation and diesel generation sets connecting the dg sets that is diesel gener generation set for duration when the demand reaches the peak value this would reduce the load demand to the considerable extent and minimize the demand charges by using a dg set and the last one is reactive power compensation the maximum demand can also be reduced at the plant level by using a capacitor bank and maintaining the optimum power factor so by switching on and off the capacitor bank maintains the desired power factor of the system and optimize the maximum demand so that's it for this video and thank you